Good evening, Philippines. Live from Pag-asa Weather and Flood Forecasting Center, here's what you have to know about the weather. Two water systems are bringing rains in the archipelago. As of 4 p.m. today, a low-pressure area was spotted 590 kilometers northeast of Basco Batanes. Its chance of developing into a tropical cyclone remains slim, but it is still forecast to enhance Habagat, which is now dominant over the western section of Visayas as well as the remaining parts of Luzon. In the next hours, residents of Ilocos region, Cordillera, the region of Calabarzon, Mimaropa, the provinces of Sambales and Bataan are alerted against monsoon rains which may trigger flush floods and landslides. Meanwhile, light to moderate rains will prevail over Metro Manila, the western part of Visayas as well as the remaining part of Luzon. Meanwhile, the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with chances of isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. And due to the effects of Habagat, gale warning is also up over the the western seaboards of central as well as the southern parts of Luzon. That is also raised over the southern seaboards of southern Luzon. Sea travel may be risky due to rough to very rough sea condition. And apart from the two weather systems we mentioned earlier, a tropical cyclone is also being monitored outside the country's boundary. It was last spotted 3,530 kilometers east of Luzon. According to Pagasa, it is not expected to enter the country's boundary but will likewise enhance the effects of Habagat. More news coming up when we return. Air 21 Online Booking Book, Pay, Ship www.onlinebooking.air21.com.ph The first complete online platform for shipment booking, payment, and package pickup and delivery in selected areas in the Philippines. Another innovation by Air 21. Sagot ko, padala mo! And tonight for our astronomical data, we are still expecting a first quarter moon. During this phase, the moon appears half illuminated. It rises around noon and appears highest in the sky during sunset, where we see half of the moon's day side or a quarter of the moon. We are also expecting a moon at an apogee position. During this, the moon is at its farthest distance to the Earth. The moon also has lesser gravitational pull during this occurrence. Catch tomorrow's sunrise at exactly 5.41 in the morning and the sunset will be at 6.21 in the evening. And that's the latest from Pag-asa DOST. Catch us again tomorrow from 5.30 to 6 a.m. only here on People's Television. For Panahon TV, this has been Desa Rejonio. Good evening.